This is for the badge. We're here with Brian. Brian, tell us quickly about what you're what you're running here. What, what's going on? What we're doing here is where we are uh, voicing our anger at Daniel Levy and Enoch, who have been in charge of our club for 22 years and promised to give us a load of uh, success and have given it off the pitch where all we care about is on the pitch. It's been one trophy and we have had enough and it's time for him to go. Okay, interesting. And so with that said, there's a statement that came out this week since 2019 that the board spent 500 million. We're on 2023. <laughs> it's 2023 now. Since 2019, they spent 500 million. Yep. What's going on? Whose fault is it? Talk me through it. Okay, so you've had managers like Mauricio Pochettino and a director of football in Paul Mitchell. You have had Jose Mourinho who wins everywhere he goes. You've got Antonio Conte right here, right now. None of them get listened to. We buy cheap, we buy twice. That 500 million, look, I'll give you the prime example. Carl Walker, who was playing in this stadium today, yep. left. And in his absence, we have spent more than the 50 million that we uh, got in for him. We have bought Serge Aurier, Matt Doherty, Jed Spence, now Porro. And until Porro, each one of them have got worse. And rather than spending Emerson, Roy oh, thank you, sir. How could I forget the gem? Royale as well, How Emerson. Could I that gem? So there's another one to the list. It makes it even worse. Yep. And we haven't replaced the right wing back. We spent over 50 million to get it because we have to go for, in his words, an opportunity. Seven million, seven and we have to look at it. And like he, yeah, like he keeps saying, thank you, Ryan. Se the, the magic number seven. People talk about the investment this summer. The investment would have been two quality players or three high quality players. What do we do? Seven. How many did Jose Mourinho get when he was back? Seven. How many did we get with Gareth Bale, Bunny? Seven. It's always seven. So that's the agenda. The agenda is to get this man out of the club. We want our football club back. We want to have the belief that a chairman has the belief we want on the football pitch. Okay, so with the new chairman, say he goes out, say you get your wish granted. What's the plan? What's, what's the aim? What's the aim? What's the aim for you guys? Ideally, as Spurs fan, what would you, yeah, but what would you like to see? What would you like to see? You bring someone in who can do the job. Live by your means. We're not asking to spend fortunes. We're just asking to spend by our means. Back do you know what I mean? We've yeah. got lower clubs only less than us and spending more than us. How can that be right? Well, one thing more I'll add to that is the new chairman, what he will bring is a belief. We have got no trust, no confidence, no belief that anything this man says is going to come through. A new chairman comes in, the slate is wiped clean and it's like, if you're going to say you're going to do this, we're going to back you, we're going to see what you do, but this has been year on, mm. year out, lie after lie, uh, f uh, false promise after false promise, and it doesn't stop. Just No results. No results. Look what they said to the trust, and still the, the financials have got to drop. And when those financials drop and show record profits, and we waited 31 days to get our number one target. Our number one target took 31 days to get. That's, yeah. what could you... That's, that's the problem. Uh, I'm going to play devil's advocate. Yep. I'm going to... After so many good managers, after so many good players, do you think the performance is on the pitch? Levi's trying to do his bit, but at the end of the day, the 90 minutes is with the players. Do you think that it only, Levi's influence only goes so far? He's trying, but the 90 minutes up to the, to the boys on the pitch? Who is it at the top of the tree who employs the recruitment directors and the scouts to bring the players in. But they've been Daniel the Levy, play He keeps appointing people to advise him poorly. He, sp he does spend money occasionally, but recklessly on the wrong players. So you're saying the players, so the Frank players are wrong. Morrison, a respected many, name in football, he was here. He said Daniel Levy has not got a clue about football matters. But the players of uh, the players that have come in have been good, on paper, or else they wouldn't have. Or, or they not been good? Or they not? I'm now the interviewer. How many goals have we conceded this year? Forty. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. That is unacceptable for a team that's going for the Champions League. Unacceptable. We've had the same two centre backs for ten years, who were backups for Pochettino, and now they're starting for one of the best defensively minded managers. If you build from the back, you buy a centre half. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to say, if you bring in Conte, a defensively minded manager, get him a centre back. There are so many of them as well. It's not like you have to spend 70 million. Get a Milinkovic from a Fiorentina, cost you 25 million quid. Yeah. Buy correct players. Don't just say, oh, we've got to have this guy. We've got to have Jed Spence. Who so, Conte, right, so Conte's asking for these players and he's not getting the players he wants. Exactly. No. Well, uh, you know, what is that? Um, 
um, Paul Mitchell asked for um, um, Mar Sadio Mane. Mane. Who do you get? Clinton now. NG. Clinton NG. We wanted Bruno Fernandes. Who did we get? Gedson Fernandes. <laughs> we, wanted a, we wanted a striker and we got Luis Saha. We wanted Skriniar, we got Rodon. Yeah. Yep. You're right. And to talk about um, you clearly, you clearly going spending back to money now. since 2019, <laughs> why is it now that there's £250 million pounds worth of talent out on loan if those players were so good? No, you guys, you, look, you guys speak sense. I appreciate your voices being heard. You're going to watch the game today, you just don't give a don't more. You're going in. I've got a season. You're going to sing, yeah, okay. Sing loud and clear. Let your voices be heard. Guys, okay, thank you. This is for the badge. Final predictions. Scores today. 2-2. 2 I'm going to go 2-2 like you. 2-2. Look, Spurs have got a good record at home. City, Pep hasn't won yet. 4-0 Manchester City. You've got Eric Dyer versus Erlin Haaland. <laughs> Eric Dyer versus Erlin Haaland. Haaland is a stone cold killer. 25 goals a season. I think, I, I think any, any, any defensive player has got no chance against him. 2-2, 2-0, 4-0. Yeah. As, 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 I'm sorry to be negative, but that is that's just the way it is. You know what, we anything can happen on any me. given yeah. day. We may well turn them over, but Fair realistically, enough. I expect them to beat us. Yeah. I want to be wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Right, guys, thank you for your voices. Thanks for your opinion. Good luck. Leave Leave out. Let's hear it. And as Leave always, out. Leave Leave out. Out. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much. Cheers, Brian. Appreciate that.